Up next, it is our co-main event of the evening, a middleweight matchup between Ultimate Fighter winner Michael the Count Bisbee and the King. Fighting out of the blue corner is the King. With explosive speed and elite level wrestling skills, this octagon warrior will be looking to take the fight to the ground and grind his opponent into the mat. A versatile fighter from Manchester, England, Michael Bisping won the Ultimate Fighter Season 3 and went undefeated in his first 15 professional fights. An accomplished kickboxer who is effective in utilizing the ground and pound, Bisping has the skills to compete against the best talent in the middleweight division. making his way to the world-famous Octagon. This guy has some slick Muay Thai, Mike. He's got a great arsenal of weapons when he's on his feet. Punches, low kicks, high kicks, and he's very dangerous in the clinch, too, with his elbows and knees. He can end the fight quickly if it stays on the feet. The King, fired up and ready to go. set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Bisping is a very disciplined fighter. He's got good wrestling, beautiful stand-up technique, and solid cardio. He has a very impressive record with wins over solid competition like Chris Lieben, Dan Miller, and Dennis Kang. Michael Bisping, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall. Weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, David the King. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a ballet judo fighter. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England. Michael, the Count, Bisping! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan, and ready? we are ready to are get ready? this fight started. The King, Michael Bisping. Year, what's going on, everybody? South Park King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I'm going up against another great fighter, man, uh, Michael Bisping. Um, in this fight, I wanted to come right out the gates. I wanted to, you know, just put a little bit of damage on this guy, man. This guy is a great fighter. Um, if anybody know who Michael Bisping is, he was the Ultimate Fighter season three winner. Um, he's he did very well in his uh, debut in the UFC. I think he won like his first 14 career fights until he lost to Rashad Evans. This guy is amazing but check out that nice uppercut and you already know what it is man i'm going down to the ground now uh one thing that i want to try to do in my ufc videos guys i didn't want to try to make it an entire live com i actually wanted to you know talk about the fighter that i'm fighting up against in the first round um and also talk about a few more things in the second round you know relatively to the ufc to the game and keep the third round live if i even make it to it 
So every time I come out with three rounds, I'm gonna try to switch it up every time, but check out the combinations. You guys wanted me to throw more combinations, so that's what I'm doing. I'm using my jab more, I'm setting punches up. Um, I'm not using my feet that much, but you know, sometimes I do sneak it in there when a guy backs up. But as you can see, the combinations is looking lovely. Um, I recently put up a video on Machinima Sports, and they were telling me, hey man, you're not throwing enough combinations. Set things up with the jab and get things done. So I'm like, you know what? let me get in the lab um so what I started doing was I started sparring more and I actually started playing the actual game or you know usually when I get a game I hop right into a career mode like uh, take my player for instance I hop right into my player I don't even play a five on five game I hop right into it so I did the same exact thing with UFC but um this fight it was amazing um I thought to tell you the truth you'll see in the later rounds I thought I was gonna lose I'm not even gonna lie, but you know, as I you know get him off me right there, look at the haymakers this guy is throwing. It seems like every punch he was throwing at me was with absolute power. It, it just it, it was you know trying to make he was trying to make me just lose. Like I don't look at that man. Look at the uppercut. The uppercut was amazing. I couldn't even dodge it. I couldn't sway it. I couldn't you know look. Check out the block. Look at the three jabs he threw. But check out my combination. That was pretty boss. But you know what it is. What it is. Now, one thing I will say, once we get into the second round, I'm going to, you know, try to show show you a couple things different in this commentary, so. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Round one is complete. Stop. Stop. Both fighters showing some pretty effective stances. Yeah, ref, you better get them. Yeah, they seem to have no interest in going to the ground. Hell no, I don't want to go to the ground, man. All right, what you guys got to tell me? Hey, man, I'm cut. Somebody please help me. Look at them. Those guys are teaching him something. What are you guys telling me? All right, okay, keep it standing. Why not? <laughs> Shoot, I'm not trying to go on the ground. I suck at submission uh, defense. Look at that vicious uppercut. Whew. Yo, I thought I was going to win with that right there, but of course this guy is too great. You know, this guy is, oh, man, he's he's, he's, he's a monster, yo. Uh, when I seen this guy intro, I thought like, oh, no, I'm going to lose bad. Like, dude, like, literally jumped at me like, what, what, what you want? <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> it was really, really scary. But check out that shot, man. Hit me with a clean uppercut. Some good striking in that round, Mike. All right, let's get into the second round, man. The beautiful Shandella Powell. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, now the second round is on. Um, I do want to ask all of my subscribers a question that love UFC. I want to know, do you guys want me to do actual fights that ha actually happen in a real UFC, like um, fight nights and cards and championship fights and all of that? You know, I want to. I want to know, man. I want you guys' ideas. I want you to want to know if you want me to talk about results or talk about what happened in the fights in real life and all of that because i can make it happen man you know uh most popular fights if somebody throws me uh a match to do i'll do it you know i'll give give them my thoughts and you know how i think the fight will actually go and i'll put some up you know um i actually even put up an entire fight of me fighting with the favor uh the most uh favorited person uh, and sometimes I even do the underdog fights, man. I'll do it all. It doesn't matter to me. But um, I really do want you guys' thoughts and ideas because I know a lot of people don't just want me doing live comms on UFC. Even though a lot of people think that they're pretty funny because of the way. Uh, matter of fact, you'll see in the third round how I speak about these live comms. But um, a lot of people want something different. They want more variety, and you know they want more information about the UFC because I know a lot of fans of each sport want somebody to talk about the actual game you know they just don't want somebody that's that's playing the game to talk about nothing <laughs> you know i don't want to be that guy so um to all my ufc fans out there please you know give me your thoughts leave them in the comment section you already know what i'll do and also another thing a lot of people don't know about me check out that combination by the way but um a lot of people don't know that when i'm leaving comments to people in my videos when i see a comment that i actually like and i might need for the future i actually sticky pad that john what i do is i just copy the entire message and i put it in a sticky notepad and use it for later in the next video or even if for a future project so 
I'm telling you guys, definitely leave your thoughts because, you know, the way my channel is set up, guys, I do this for y'all. You know, every time somebody wants something new, I try to make it happen. You know, when people want tutorials, I make them happen. When people want, you know, crazy rage and all of that, I make that happen. Also, when people just want stunning highlights and, and great gameplay, you know, I provide that. So, you know, I can do it in any type of game that I play, um, except Call of Duty. I will not be that 105 and one guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just putting that out there right now. But uh, the, the end of the second round is coming. Um, be ready for the third round, guys, because I'm telling you, you will be laughing. <laughs> I'm telling you, everybody, stop eating right now. Put all your juice and milk down. Trust me, you're going to be laughing like a motherfucker. <laughs> Real talk. All right, let's see what my corner wants me to do. Yeah, he's cut. He's cut bad. Uh huh. The eyes closing up. Nice combo. You hear? You seen that? It was nice combos. I'm doing my thing right now, man. I'm um, the, the my my corner actually thinks I'm throwing nice combos. I hope you know all you UFC fans out there will think that I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> oh man, he's just gonna hit me in the body like that. What a new move, man. Ah, that was a hell of a take now. Damn. Solid striking on display in that round. All right, let's get into the third round, guys. Peace. <laughs> the beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Ready to take his ass out. Uh huh. Come on. Come here. Uh huh. Jab, jab. Ooh, boy. Ooh, stuck him. Woo. Come on. That's right. Oh, you don't want your life. You don't want your life. Come on. Get rocked. Get rocked. Get rocked! Get rocked! Ah! Come on, half guard. Let's go. Nah, don't ride the cage, bitch. Don't ride. Yeah, get back down. Get off my leg. Ah, side control. Oh, okay. Damn, nice takedown, motherfucker. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Get fuck. Woo. All right. Nah, you're not gonna get me. Jab, 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 jab. Cross, cross. Oh shit. Woo, look at your head damage. It's, it's me or you, man. It's me or you. It's me or you. Come on. Don't be scared. Ah, nice body kick. Oh, hook. Ah. Let me, good, good job I blocked that uppercut. God damn. Come on. No, you want this. You want the Boom. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This thing can't hold me, B. He can't hold me. What, did y'all see that uppercut? See, y'all ain't see that uppercut. Y'all did not see that uppercut. Oh, my God. And here we see it again. Picture perfect uppercut. And here we see it again. Instantaneous knockout victory. Look at this. Twist the head around. His eyes roll back into his head. The lights go out. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 51 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, David the King. The King is the winner. Oh, man, I hope you guys like that commentary, man. Um, it's the end of the year. These are all the uh, fighters of the year right here. I'm just going through it real fast. Look at the fights of the year, man. You know I didn't make any of the lists, man. I'm still trying to get my, my uh, stature up, my status. You know, I'm still a rookie to all these greats right here, man. Um, now, let's see. Who else? The knockout of the year. Yep, I wouldn't have got it with that match right there. It's all good, though. Maybe next year. Submission of the year. That's perfect. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.